Okay. I, I, listen, I've already heard. If you have anything else to say, you can put it in writing at a later time. I've heard from both sides more than once. That's going to be it. I've made my decision. Like I said, 99% of what's been testified to has been appropriate. I do not want to highlight uh, the few things that were said that were perhaps not appropriate. And let's move on. The judge gives judgment. There is nothing else for you to say. But see what happens even after she's finished speaking. You can have as many seconds as you want in writing and you can put all of your objections in writing they've been made multiple times from your chief assistant from miss mcneil and i don't want to hear anything else i've already heard it is there something that has not already been argued yes ma'am okay exactly what is it judge before mr shacker took the podium and testified before this court um, I, sh I wanted to the record to reflect that both mr marcus and mr sats looked at the statement prior to the reading and so their implicit adoption of what he was saying of this improper arguments is improper this court and the court should have chastised. Okay, but what court. you are doing right now <laughs> is highlighting something and making more of a spectacle. So if your office in general does not want to facilitate and or incite violence, then we need to just sit down and move on. I feel like it's about to go down. She's basically saying you need to shut up and let's move on but is he listening that's it you can see there were 18 that he's witnesses, upset 16 or 18 witnesses that testified today there was nothing that was said until miss mcneil made her point made and you know we're moving on like how many times can this judge say move on when a judge says move on the fat lady has sank move on When these people are upset about specific things that have gone on from that table, like shooting the middle finger up at this court and laughing and joking, Ms. McNeil, be quiet. When these people have sat in this courtroom and watched this behavior from that table and they want to say that they're not happy about it, what is the problem? Judge, I have no problem because I have thick skin. I have thick skin. sure the lawyer just said that he has thick skin? Is that what he said? I don't think so. But once you bring in my children, I think that's highly improper. It's being the bring in your children? No way. I didn't even know you have children. I don't know what you're talking about. Your children? What about your children? For them to comment on my children is highly improper. Is also improper. There was, I don't remember any comments about any children. And if there was, it, it, it obviously didn't. It, it, it came and went without me noticing. This is becoming very disturbing now. The judge is like, uh -huh, she can't remember, but she's just trying to pacify him. But would he stop? I can assure you that if they were talking about your children, you would definitely notice. You even believe that a judge and a lawyer are having this verbal battle. You need to sit, sit down. down right now. You're out of line. In fact, in fact, you're excused. You need to go sit in the back with your with your. Uh, Chief Public Defender. He's the Public Defender. Mr. Weeks, please ask the lawyer from your office to go sit down and not say anything else. To try to threaten my children and bring up my children is inappropriate. Go to the back of the room now. There are other ways to seek redress if you feel like a judge has said something or not said something when they should, but definitely not in open court. At the end of the day, we're officers of the law. You're a professional. This is so unprofessional what he has done. And the fact that the judge stated that she hadn't heard them speak about his children, he should have just left it, but he wanted to prove a point. You can see that the judge really hesitated. You know, um, she had some words she wanted to say to him. This doesn't look good at all. That just violated about every rule of professional responsibility that I have ever, I have never. Here comes the supervisor or whatever he's called. Let's see what he says. Any better? If you're going to get up here and you're going to... Judge, I asked you to go sidebar on this matter. Uh -huh. You sidebar or not, you don't have one of your assistant public defenders say something about my children? Judge, that same venom that the court is expressing is the same venom that defense counsel had to sit through this entire morning. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Like, subscribe, share. This is just a lot of courtroom drama.